What's up, everybody? I'm Greg Miller, and I'm here in Maryland at Paraxis Games to find out all about Civilization VI. Is Civilization VI the best one yet? No pressure. Civilization VI builds on everything we've done before. Is it the best one yet? Yes or no? Yes! That's what I like to hear. What we've done with this is taken just the best of what we had in past versions of Civilization. We brought forward all the great systems that everybody loved to play with before, and then piled a lot more on top of that. It's really exciting to have a chance to kind of put our own stamp on the series. How do you come into Civilization VI wanting to tweak things, change things, but not change it into something completely different where people are alienated. We have a rule at Paraxis. You can add 33% new stuff, 33% stuff that you tweak, but the last third should stay pretty much exactly the same. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. What's the most interesting aspect for you? I would say it comes down to the core tenet of a game, which is unstacking the cities. In Civ 5 and Civ games, all the buildings and all the sort of economy stuff you have in your city is all kind of crammed into this city center tile. And the idea with districts that Ed had was to take some of that and put it out on the map. And so each city kind of takes on its own personality. So it's very clear what that city does. You can see I have a library, I have a university, or I have a temple. It changes just about everything. Every time you plop down a settler, you're not just looking at the resources, you're looking at everything around it. Because your city gets specialized based on what you're seeing on the map. Not just aesthetically, but in terms of the gameplay. I'm reading the map in a way that I have never done before. We have chosen our leaders this time in order to come up with the people who are the biggest personalities. We love having Teddy Roosevelt as our American leader. Welcome to the United States of America. We have a whole new diplomatic system for our leaders so that they can bring those personalities into the game. And we call that the agenda system. So we look at what that character did in history. And so for Roosevelt, it is the big stick diplomacy policy. He was going to build up the American military to be strong enough that it was just like hands off of the Americas. He looks at the continent around him, and if anyone's mucking around starting wars there, you're, you're on his list. Gosh. <laughs> We've talked a lot about, you know, Civilization VI is doing this, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great, all these things are gonna be great, we get it. But like, what I wanna know is, what is the riskiest thing you've done? We rebuilt the game engine entirely. We had all these things working in Civ V, and we're just like, out the window. <laughs> and it actually has worked out well enough that when we get to talking about modability, people are gonna go nuts with how much power we're gonna put in place. Civ 5 came out, critically acclaimed, everybody likes it, but they're like, well, I feel like I'm using military more than I'm ever using diplomacy. And then as the expansions comes out, it feels like you guys are addressing those concerns. Is that how you guys develop based on what people are saying and seeing how people play in game and move it all together that way? We absolutely spend more time than the fans think reading those forums. <laughs> cut, you, hard, cut you guys crying at the computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the secret to civilization? The fact that it's been around 25 years. The way that it just spans throughout time allows just a limitless amount of ideas is to be bolted onto it and have it work and become a whole new game while keeping that same foundation. It's just an amazing amount of stuff you can do with it. Civilization VI comes out October 21st, 2016. Until next time, it's been our pleasure, sir. We're a very collaborative team here. We spend a lot of time concepting, I get ideas from the art team, I take them to the design team, and we just go back and forth. That's why everybody likes our games, I think. <laughs>